I'm Gabby Goodwin, the CEO of Confidence, and you are watching Jay Haleem TV. What's up? What's up? What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Jay Haleem. We are on Jay Haleem TV, and we have a friend of ours, a friend of the family, of course, Miss Gabby Goodwin. Listen, y'all saw her before the pandemic on the show, and as I talked to her, I talked to her beforehand. I said, I'm sure she grew a few inches, <laughs> and I'm sure she hadn't stopped. She hadn't let any grass grow on her feet because she kept working while everybody else was sleeping. But Gabby, how you been? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm I'm excited for you. I'm proud of you. Let me just say that. I'm proud of you, definitely. Um, definitely continue to be inspired. And I have my daughter. She just released her book. And I tell her to watch what you're doing. I say, watch what Gabby's doing. <laughs> I say, because she's, she's going places. So, you know, definitely my family is rooting for your family, for you and your family. And we're proud of you. Thank so, you. No problem, no problem. So the pandemic hit and you're like, what? What do you say when, when you say you can't go to, you can't go outside, you gotta stay in the house? What did your mom tell you? What did you say to your mom? What was the conversation like? At first, when the pandemic first started, I mean, I had many different speaking engagements that were pretty big. I mean, I was gonna speak at South by Southwest, mm -hmm. uh, the World Natural Hair Show, and those all got canceled and postponed. Uh, and while we were getting those emails and getting those calls, we were like really figuring out that this is a real pandemic, like it's about to go down. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> so, something's about to happen. And I mean, it was, no, well, speaking was a big part of my revenue, especially at the beginning of the year. I mean, you're getting paid thousand to a few thousand just to speak and sell your products as well so that was a big chunk of our revenue when I had uh, much more speaking engagements planned than before uh, and when that hit or when that pandemic hit or when the pandemic hit uh, some of that that chunk of revenue just went away and we didn't really know how to get it at first but as we we're able to I guess, listen and also just try to figure out what's going on especially in the hair care industry we were able to pivot and uh, work it out yeah i mean a lot of people went through some crazy situations at that time and again you speaking so that means that you're a role model so what type of advice were you giving people because again people still wanted to know they're looking to you for you know what for example so what's some, some of the advice you were giving people um online at that time or how to you know stay positive uh, for me especially at the beginning of the pandemic i guess just being able to really realize what's going on i mean and definitely uh stay in tune with everything and especially when it first hit like school closed and we couldn't really go out a lot of things were canceled that we were going to be doing i mean i remember i was going to be going to the ncaa women's tournament and wow. that got canceled uh, and me and my me and my brother were like, oh my goodness, like it's getting canceled. <laughs> and he has a South Carolina fan. We were ready for that national championship. But yeah. <laughs> um, just to be able to figure out what was really going on and to just stay calm. Mm -hmm. and we didn't really know what was really going on during the time. We didn't know how long it was going to last. Um, but some advice I was giving or people, or advice people were giving me as well, uh, were just to stay calm and realize what's going on and uh, just hope for the best as well. And yeah. just to, you know, stay home, be safe, help other people stay safe as well. And when everything gets better, we can move on to a semi normal life. I understand. Okay. So what was the first thing you did? First job you did when you got an opportunity, what was the first thing you guys are able to do? The first thing that really took off in the pandemic or the first thing that we really realized 
was that salons, hair salons were closing, especially at the beginning uh, where everything shut down, nobody was really able to go out. And people, girls were not able to get their hair done, moms were not able to get their hair done, and they needed those products and they needed uh, those people, those stylists to do their hair. And since we are a hair care brand, and since we have our hair care products as well, uh, we realized that gap and we created the home hair care bundle, which is, our, it was a box with a few of our barrettes. And at first it was all three of our hair products that we had at the time, we now have six. Wow. Uh, but at the first uh, we released them with all of the three hair products, but then we just limited it to one. But we sent out a box which carries all your hair products and bows, a hair product and a book, which is what we call it, the home hair care bundle or what you can really use to do your hair at home. Yeah. And when people were able to see that and they were able to buy at buy that, it really took off. <laughs> so uh, we were able to have some of the strongest months we've ever had in seven years just in the pandemic because wow. we really realized what people were struggling with. I mean, we went on back order from hair products at least two times just this pandemic. And it was it was really a eye opener to see what people were really struggling with or what people needed help with. And we were also able to grow our Facebook group, uh, Girls Natural Hair and Confidence Facebook group. And we were able to help more people uh, learn how to do hair or learn how to care for hair. We've, had, we've already had two challenges, which yeah. talked about how to care for the hair. Uh, we had a summer one, which was talking about how to prevent dryness and breakage. And then our current one, which we are now coining challenge as the confidence in my hair challenge, is just talking about how to care for their hair and how to have or how to help your girl feel confident in their natural hair. Uh, so just figuring out that hole in the market or what people were struggling with definitely helped us pivot in the pandemic. That's a that's an amazing testimony right there, because you know, a lot of people don't have that testimony right there to be able to double, you know, the, the offerings during the pandemic and then going on back order a few times. Right. Yeah, that, that's amazing. And they said, and you reached the six figure in sales, six figure mark during this time. Yes. So now when are you gonna tell mom to quit the job? Um <laughs> maybe in a few years, one or two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, listen, you know, um, your, your family is, is extremely talented and blessed, and, and, and we're definitely extremely proud of you. I, when I saw, I said, oh, my God, and I, I showed my daughter because she was releasing her book in October. I said, that could be you. Right? That could be you. Be motivated. She's focused. Her focus is on bullying, and, you know, you, you're definitely being a role model. So what about some of the speaking engagements you had? Because now they decided to open back up for you to do virtual speaking engagements. What are some of those um, engagements you had during the pandemic? I've been doing um, many different podcasts, also in going live and uh, answering people's questions as well. There have been a many different variety of different things, uh, but it's really been uh it's, and it's not the same as, you know, <laughs> flying on a plane or traveling on the road. So you said you was on a bunch of podcasts and everything? Right, yeah. I was um, doing a different podcasts, different, I guess, Facebook and Instagram, things like that. And just being able to inspire people through a screen or through a speaker or microphone and being able to answer any questions that they have, but also give them any tips or wisdom that they need to grow in their business. So the big thing that we heard recently is that you have a partnership with Gail King and Marcus Limonis. Yes. So everybody want to be close to Oprah. Now you got with Oprah BFF now. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so is Oprah next? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, if Gail knows you, then Oprah will know you soon. Uh, that was a super, a super big opportunity. Yeah, how did that, that happen? How did that? That come was actually out? for um, Marcus's podcast that he uh, is going to, I guess, launch. Mm -hmm. And I was just, they called us and said that this podcast is going to be all about storytelling and fun and just 
two entrepreneurs talking and uh, we were talking, we were answering questions. And then, you know, if you watch The Prophet, you know how a stickler he is with numbers and knowing your stuff. And he just turned into The Prophet Mar Marcus. And he was <laughs> all these different questions. And uh, he was introducing the special guest. And I didn't know that there was going to be a surprise guest. I didn't know that uh, Miss Gail was going to be on the podcast in general. Uh, so he was actually introducing her and I was actually thinking it was Oprah <laughs> <laughs> the way he introduced her uh, but it, it was Gail King I'm, I mean it's still super exciting to meet her and uh, as I was talking he told me to pitch and I pitched for him and he was like how much money do you need and so I told him a specific amount and he was like okay so I'm going to give you uh, $50,000 for uh, um, right now and then once you use that money and show me how much you are going to or how you're going to spend that i'm going to give you another one and then if you use that i'm going to give you another one uh, so or and that was super super so, so another fifty thousand, and then another one so uh it was it was super super exciting and then gail king uh, also jumped in we didn't know she was going to jump in at all and she also invested uh, so it was super super exciting to meet both of them and now to say that I will be able to uh, be invested by them and have a partnership with them is incredible that that is it, that is insanely incredible who who ran and started doing the holy ghost dance first was it mom or dad <laughs> I think it was mom. <laughs> my, my dad would do it, but he doesn't. This is behind closed doors. <laughs> uh, that is amazing. I mean, that is an amazing. That's the once in a lifetime scenario, and so I'm. I, and this couldn't have happened to a better young lady. Definitely. Um, again, when you said over the last seven years, so people think, hey, that's a cute kid. You you're actually putting in the work. You guys, your family actually work and put in the work. You earned it. This is not something that just happened because you put a kid out there. And so what advice do you have for parents as well as kids that are trying to be young entrepreneurs, you know, that think that, hey, I'm this cute kid. I'm going to go out and I'm just going to make a bunch of money. What advice can you tell them about what, what the process really looks like? First off, you really have to put in the work. I mean, a lot of people see a lot of the success that we've had, especially in the past few months or past few months, in fact, past few weeks. I mean, besides the podcast, I was also featured on Washington Post. I was on Ancient and QVC in October. Uh, so there was a lot that was happening, not just in the past few weeks, but this entire year. And uh, people may see the success and be like, oh my goodness, she just, I, it was just, Gave, or people just gave it to her but I actually me and my parents and my whole entire family uh, were have been working for the past I wouldn't even say seven years we started the idea when I was about five so about nine years of work into the business or into this uh, product that we were going to be selling and you really have to put in the work sleepless nights early mornings late nights I mean, especially as a young kid, I mean, you have school, you have extracurricular activities, and then you have this business on top of it. And it can be a lot to juggle, but learning that time management skills are definitely a key. It's for parents as well. I mean, know if your child really wants to do this. Yeah. I mean, you can't really waste $10,000 on a patent that your child doesn't really want. Yeah. So really know if your child is passionate about what they're doing and uh, you can start investing small stuff but then as the passion grows and as you can see if your uh, child really wants to do this then you can really dive into it and say okay we're doing this and then just go for it so yeah. really know what your child wants I love it I love it I love it so what happens what do you tell your parent the parents that are questioning because a lot of parents are like well you're going to get a real job or you're not going to do this dream what do you tell the parents that have to say that has that to say about their kids or to their kids I mean you should support your kids wherever or whatever they want to do I mean uh, 
I mean, that's just that's less love, that's parent love. I mean, uh, if you may not really believe, because I mean, I know my parents were like, what are you talking about? You, you want to start a business? But not like in the mean way, but then like the, oh, really, you, you want to start a business? And for me, I was very shy as well growing up. And you I mean, the main thing you have to do is talk to people to get customers, especially when we first started at vendor shows. I mean, I was super nervous. Um, but just really listen to your child and really listen to what they want to do. And if you really pay attention and see that they're really passionate about it, like I said in the last question, they are really passionate about it. You may need to consider what uh, what you may need to do. I mean, if they want to go do something else when they're already, you know, playing sport or playing an instrument, I mean, tune into what they're saying and really listen and see what your child really wants to do and just i mean you don't have to you know spend a whole lot of money on it but just really paying attention and doing the small things at first and then once it's a really a uh, big deal for your child or you see that they they really want to do this you can start growing uh, as the business or whatever they want to do begins yeah you know, I, I, you know, I'm grateful again for you and your family. You know, you guys are amazing examples. You know, 2021 is on the way. What's what's up next for you? What's 2021 look like for Gabby? Uh, 2021, it just looks like more online sales. We don't really know what will happen during or uh, with you know COVID-19 and what's really going to go on. We don't know if there's going to be any vendor shows or anything like that, but what we're mainly focusing on and what we know we can improve on and really work on uh, and, you know, we can actually control it is our online sales and what we're doing online, uh, growing our social media presence, doing more social media events, such as our confidence in my hair challenge, and just really growing our community as there's many other people. I mean, we may seem big, but we've only scratched the surface <laughs> of many different people that we could serve. And so just being able to grow our online sales, grow our, our community and our social media, and just being able to have more girls feel confident, have more parents feel confident in natural hair, and just having everybody feel confident in themselves. I love it. I love it. Gabby, as always, you are, listen, I know you're in Washington Post and everything like that, but you have a home here too. And so if anytime you want to talk to us here, or if you have something going on personally, you need somebody to come out and cover you. We're here, but we are supporting you more importantly. We support you. Um, we're praying for you guys and we just thank, thankful for your success and for the example as a family that you guys are setting for us as well here in the South Carolina area. You guys are doing an amazing job and congratulations on all the success. And we know you're going to knock it out the park. I'm waiting to hear from Oprah in 2021. I'm speaking yes. right here. Oprah in 2021. Thank you so much. No problem. Enjoy, it. Enjoy the rest of it. Matter of fact, before you go, please tell everybody how to find everything on your online sales, all that stuff. Hey, what website? Instagram, Facebook, everything like that, so everybody can connect with you before you go. Our website is gabbybows.com. That is G-A-B-B-Y-B-O-W-S.com. All social media is also Gabby Bows, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're on Pinterest as well. You can look for style ideas or uh, things that you can do with your daughter's hair as well. But you can check us out uh, and also contact us on our website as well. All right. It, listen, y'all got Gabby. She's take she's taking us up another notch as always. <laughs> y'all know this is Jay Halloween TV. www.jhalingtv.com at Jay Halloween TV on all social media platforms, and I am Jay Halloween on all on social media platforms. Gabby, thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Talk to no you. No problem. Soon. Have a good one. You too.